We invested in the, our, some of our CARES Act money to start to connect those households. We invested about $30 million. Then we passed the Rural Broadband Bridge Act, say that three times fast, and invest another $40 million. And then with the capital projects that came out of ARPA, we had another $80 million. And then with the Infrastructure and Jobs Act, we will have another $200 million on top of that. We actually think the overall investment needs to be about a billion dollars. And I, I really equate this to being something like rural electrification that was so important back in the 30s to be able to help all of our households across the state be able to participate that way. Well, this is another opportunity for us to do the same sort of thing, be able to connect all those households to high-speed internet. And so these investments are gonna be important. But as you know, you've always gotta continually look for ways to be innovative and leverage new technology to be able to make those investments and to get better at what you do. And that's why you're all here today to talk about how drone technology, which Valmont's been using since 2017, can help you be able to do that for your contractors. And we've been actually using drones here at the state of Nebraska for several years as well to help us become more efficient. So for example, our Nebraska State Patrol uses it when we do crash investigations. It's something that used to be very manual in nature, right? You have to send your Nebraska State Troopers out there to do the investigation, and then once that's done, you can clear the crash and allow for normal traffic flow operations. But we've been able to leverage drones to be able to do that in a much more effective way. We leverage, you know, you can send the drones up, they can get a clearer picture of what actually happened in the crash, make sure you report that all. And we've been able to cut down the time it takes us to do those crash investigations from about two and a half hours to about 45 minutes. Now, why is that important? Well, first of all, it's important for safety, right? When we don't have our troopers on those roads, they're at less risk being hit by a passing car. So we improve safety that done faster. We also free those troopers up to get back on the road to be able to respond to other needs, whether we have another crash or to be able to protect our citizens in other ways. So it gets our troopers back on the road doing their jobs. And then of course it's great for the traveling public as well because we free up that traffic flow so that the traffic starts moving more normally better. So it has been a win-win for us there. We've also, logged, uh, we actually leveraged those same drones when we had our fires here this past spring. It was a dry spring here in Nebraska. And uh, for example, our 702 road fire in Southwest Nebraska burned about 44,000 acres. But we were able to leverage the drones we have with the Nebraska State Patrol to be able to spot the hot spots out there in the fields, direct the Nebraska National Guard helicopters to those spots drop water on them. The folks from FEMA there said our work there with drones actually cut about two days off of the effort it needed to get that fire under control. So another great example of how you can leverage that drone technology to be able to do a better job safe. And then finally, our, our Department of Transportation also uses those drones. Uh, we use them for doing bridge inspections. We do them for wetland management. Again, just another way to make us more efficient. So I think that you've got a great opportunity here to be able to expand further what these drones can do to be able to help you out. I think with the different companies, you've got about 100 different companies involved in this industry, about 130,000 uh, towers that have got to be inspected. This is something that can help you be able to do that in a more efficient way to spot that cracking, that corrosion, that stress and be able to reduce the amount of man hours it takes to actually be able to do that, make yourself more efficient. And of course, it's also a safety issue as well. I think you average about, uh, since 2003, you've averaged about eight and a half deaths uh, from the manual uh, inspections. And so this is a way to kind of leverage that technology, to be able to reduce the amount of time people actually need to be getting up there physically manual inspections. So a great way to improve efficiency, great way to improve safety. The same sort of thing today is to do some of that research to see what happened when you actually crash that drone into one of these towers, what kind of damage would that do? So you kind of know what your liability with this is as well. But I think it's a great
great opportunity to continue to make sure we can make the investments here in Nebraska, for example, to connect those households to that high-speed internet. We're putting our dollars in place. But you know, it's one thing, now you build it, but you also have to maintain it. And that's what you'll be able to do with this new technology, do that in a more efficient way, be able to help us be able to get that broadband out faster, maintain it better, and make sure that everybody here in Nebraska is participating in this economy that has been so great for our state. You know, here in Nebraska, we've got the lowest unemployment rate, not only in our state history, but in the history of the United States. We've got great job opportunities for our folks. And um, actually, the Eddie Casey Foundation ranks Nebraska the second best state overall for children's economic well-being. That makes sense, right? We have great job opportunities for Nebraska families. Kids are taken care of. countries, 85 different facilities, and we appreciate the job you create here in Nebraska. So thanks again for everybody for what you're doing. God bless you and your work. And with that, I think we're going to leverage some of that technology we call Aaron back here.